ड्रेसिंग सूट सर्विस साइ And the players now out at the table for the second match. It is, of course, the best of five matches. Tatiana Bilenko from the Ukraine and Rimi Gyong from Korea DPR. And there she is, Tatiana Bilenko. Richard Prouser, my co-commentator, is the head of coaching at the Werner Schlager Academy in Vienna. Probably one of the, if not the, best players for elite table tennis in the world, certainly outside of China. And I do believe Bilenko, Richard, trends at the academy. Exactly, exactly. from time to time, as she's also a member of S5 Ströck, the women team there. And, uh, well, she's not living all the time in the Werner Schlager Academy, but practicing in a regular way. And she's practicing very concentrated, very seriously. And it's a little bit a different type of defense we will see right now, a little bit more based on the heavy backspin on this Russian style defense and uh, well I'm not 100% sure uh, how, what about the chances against Rio because usually the Korean player they are known to play very good against defense but uh, as I said like it's a little bit different style that uh, Bilenko is playing and maybe that will cause some trouble for Rio as well. I commentated on the game yesterday, I know it's the men's match, but it was Korea Republic against Korea DPR and K Korea Republic were 2-0 up. Josie Hook, who was the hero the night before against Chinese Taipei, comes up against an unranked 25-year-old, Kim Nam Chol, who played unbelievable tail tennis against backspin um, and, um, and won the game. It, this was unbelievable and this also this whole whole match was really a little bit like for me gave me gave me some how do you call this goosebumps uh, because it was really so so thrilling so nice rallies and the crowd was really like lifting up the players it was so good to watch. So back with this last 16 of the women's team event encounter and the first game has just started. And it'll be very interesting to see the first few points, as Richard pointed out. We suspect that Remy Young will be pretty strong against backspin. The players from Korea DPR tend to be strong, and of course, we've just seen Remy Young Sun in action in the first match. She's a defensive player, so this Remy Young will have lots of opportunities to practice against backspin. Exactly. And one more time, just like to find about the difference between Bilenko and Ryu from the first first game. We will see Ryu from the first game, the North Korean player, to play long pimple in the backhand side and use a normal rubber in the forehand side. So does Bilenko, but Bilenko will keep on switching the rubber all the time and uh, playing more often with the red rubber, the long pips, also in forehand side, preferring, as we can see here, preferring to play defense with the long pimple. She always keep in mind the red rubber of Bilenko, these are the long pimples and she will keep on changing in order to play defense, mostly with the long pips. Very interesting, Richard. I'm just about to reminisce. I'm getting a bit older these days, but I was here in 1981 at the World Championships in Japan and then it was black and black. So, and the rules changed very shortly after that tournament, which made life a lot more difficult for the defensive players. England had a young player, I know a good friend of yours, Carl Preen, who played with long pimples, but attacked with long pimples, which was quite unique. And he had an unbelievable tournament as a 15, 16 year old here. 18 out of 19 in the men's team event he won. But of course the rules changed, hence we have Bilenko playing with long pimples red and reverse rubber black. He was a great player, Carl Preen, actually. Really good to watch. So he did, unique. He did very well with red and white when the players knew which side he was using. He was still top 12 in Europe, top 10 in Europe. Now you will see this, the switch of racket, we saw that now, very nice. And she's relying much more on the heavy backspin than on the no spin. That's a major difference between this Korean style of defense and this style that Bilenko is preferring. Well placed top spin from Ree into the body of 
Bilenko. Interestingly enough, Bilenko stayed up to the table there, tried to take the counter block on. That, actually, that was she was working on a lot the last month. That she's not only relying on her defense, but a little bit more also that she's ready to attack from time to time. And especially after this tomahawk service we saw right now here, she wants to try to attack directly with a strong forehand top spin. from Ray. She anticipated the topspin on the diagonal. You see that again. Here it comes. And there she is, ready with the block. Not only did she block it, she punched it as well. Elbow wrist. And put Bilenko under pressure. Five, uh, she's not fast enough. She has to be faster back. The ball was jumping pretty unpredictable high. And so therefore, she has to be fast back in order to control the ball better. We will see this in ah. slow motion, maybe. Ah. Oh, it's an interesting <laughs> one there. Bilenko shrieked with delight. I think she really like was totally out. She thought the ball was out. Interesting way of service variation. And still like two, three times, she's not coming back fast enough. That's something she has to improve there. She's moving in and out, especially after the first ball. So Re getting into a nice rhythm against the defense now. She was a few points adrift at the middle of this game. She now leads 9-6. Good backspin from Bilenko there. Good use of the wrist. Came underneath the ball. Used the reverse side. I mean, it's some trouble for Rio, but like, really, you can feel she has the touch for the match against defense. First time coming up with this backhand service, really surprising her. Huh? This is what Bilenko is doing pretty well. Like change of service, but after this change of service, she has to be fast enough back in order to produce high quality defense. Well deserved, well done, nicely done. Two times with the backhand, and then she was fast enough to follow the ball. And this time the attack finished with the long pips. Not that easy to produce an attack with the long pips. Nicely done. Three consecutive points for Bilenko. Ah. Nine points each. Ree has the advantage of her two serves to come. Oh. Well placed by Ree. Two or three top spins into the backhand and a slower top spin into the body. That was yes. point. extra step missing there to open the side a bit more. And there it is. Re takes the first game, 11 points to nine. Korea DPR lead by one game to nil.
second game, Korea to serve lap all. Second game, re of Korea DPR to serve. Spin. Good spin there, like you can see the use of the wrist, a nice placement there. That's so tough for the defense player because they have to move very nice backwards forwards. One all. Again, re looking to go for spin rather than speed, coming up the back of the ball rather than through the ball. The video cameras in action. An important tool now, Richard, for the coaches. A lot of video analysis being used. Definitely, and what is for for us always very, very, very important to really have it directly done in between in between the matches from the morning to to uh, the evening. And many players they also use it. Good smash. Spinny top spin. Not quite controlled, as we see there by Bilenko, it popped up. And then a good smash on the diagonal. Speaks shortly about video analyzers. I mean, it's getting more and more use also that some of the teams, they have their uh, video team with them. And then you get only like the important balls out of this video. For example, only the service, only the return. Then you really know for the evening sessions only about the service or the different service variation. It's really an important tool, meanwhile. It's amazing now to look at some of the teams here and how specialist the support team is. We have, obviously, we've got team leaders, team managers, and we have the coaches, but then we have physiotherapists here, we have doctors here, we have video analysts here. And it's more and more common. Before you were known that maybe the Chinese team or maybe the German team is doing like this, but now, meanwhile, more and more it's going in this direction, which to my point of view is the good way. That was a great backhand hit down the line by Bilenko. Very good start from Bilenko now, and as we say, like, see, so big is the difference between the style of Bilenko and then the style of Rio, the defense player we saw in the first game. Also start to attack more and more with the backhand, Bilenko. Hesitating a bit, was thinking that the ball is touched, and I'm also not sure. Maybe it touched. It was difficult for us to see on the screen because, of course, she was in the way, yeah. wasn't she? It, she's asking the question: Did it touch? And re saying it touched Outside. the side of the table, as opposed to the edge of the table, which would have been point to Bilenko. A well placed topspin from Re. On these first balls. Tatiana Bilenko is not moving that well. Whenever the rally is going, she starts to find her rhythm. But because of the placement you mentioned, that of Rio, his first ball, Bilenko, is missing quite a few there. Because the topspin is not too fast. It's more about placement. That touch, for sure. Um, that touch, definitely. She come, there it goes. Well done, the cameraman. Nice prepared, forehand, forehand, nicely done to the middle. And it's really curved a little bit in the body of Bilenko. And then nicely done with a forehand smash also in the middle. Very strong second half of the first game. She appears to be playing strong now. She was quite well down. 
And indeed, Ukraine have called timeout. And Bilenko it's... sensing that, or indeed the Ukraine coach sensing that the momentum has now changed in favour of Ray. And the question was, what what has changed? I mean, now it seemed to me that uh, Rio has very good touch against the normal defense uh, skills of uh, Bilenko, and especially in the beginning till 6-2, Bilenko was attacking some balls, was doing like some variation there, like sometimes also coming directly after her own service with the first ball attack. So I think she should start doing these kind of things again, because whenever it's getting to the normal defense rallies, uh, Rimi Gong is uh, building up his game very nicely and uh, winning most of the points. Three with her second serve in this sequence of two. It's very long, like really on the wide line, and she's falling back a little bit there. Cannot control the spin of Rio. Yeah. See, see what you said before, Richard, about sometimes it's more difficult to make the small step, the small adjustment, and it's that's it. When it's into your body, all it needs is a small movement. Exactly, exactly. and that's where Bilenko's having yeah. problems making yeah. that. And especially in this middle part. Good one. That's like what she has to do, not only relying on the defense, just like coming especially after her own service with this backhand attack or forehand topspin, because against defense so far, Ryu is not making too many mistakes. Sort of went through the ball, very little top spin. Have a look at that again. But I think again, Bilenko was not that fast enough back. She had no the chance to come under the ball, just like too late. No. Did well there, Bilenko. Clearly, Reese pinning her into the body. Also, the defense was a bit high. I think it was quite spinny there. That's the reason why Rio missed this ball. Nine points each. Ah. Business end of the second game. Ah. Important, very important and nicely done. She's doing this back and up spin service quite a bit and Rio has really quite some, quite some troubles in receiving this service right. And the main thing is Bilenko started to attack after, second time after eight. Serve drifted long into the forehand. Ree straight in. That was brave play by Ree. She went for a strong forehand topspin. And it's now alternate serving and the first player to win two clear points. She was expecting, you see, like it was a miss switch of, 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 of the record in the way that she was expecting the ball into the forehand. You see there now she's turning. And she doesn't, doesn't have the right touch to play defense with the regular rubber. Oh, great counter block. Wide to Bilenko's forehand. And that is a 12 10 win for Rimi Young. And she leads by two games to nil.
first point to Re in the third game. The shot from Belenko was very short over the net. Makes it a lot easier to smash for the attacking player. And he really has this feeling for producing this little bit more spin than expected. And really, she has no rush in her top spin. Whenever Bilenko is playing her normal defense, she just like, can put the ball. Now one mistake, but usually she is really so easy with her hand. She has really a very good feeling to play against defense. The way Bilenko should do is like to keep attacking from time to time, to keep Ryu moving around. That's her chance there all together. Ah! Short serve to the forehand from Ree. Belenko stretching, lost control, pushed it in the net. 3-1. Korea DPR lead. Good one. This time also still she's playing to my point of view a bit too much cross. Also, she was playing now a bit faster topspin there. She has to always keep in mind if attacking has to be also a good position. We saw before in the first match from Rio, very good like this. Go, three, all. Well done, Bilenko. Well done, and she, went, she won the point by attacking the second time in a row. She has to go on that way to be a little bit more aggressive altogether. It's also interesting, Richard, to note that in the men's game last night and in the ladies' game this morning, there's only one male and one female player from Korea DPR who, who actually have a world ranking. Yeah, we don't, we don't see a lot of these players yeah. on the world circuit, and, and they're clearly very strong players. Definitely, and that's a pity. I would really love to see the North Korean player more often. As we remember, 2013, they even had a world title. And they have a great tradition there. Table tennis. In the late 90s, in the late 80s, also Lee Gunzang, I remember from North Korea, great defense player, great skills, a little bit in the style like Yul Su Yuk. They had the great female player in the 70s, Park, two times world champion. Sadly passed away, yeah. quite young. Good one, good one. This counter attack she has to really go for. Now till five, three times she won the ball by attacking, and again with a short pip, uh, with a long pips. That's something extraordinary. Bilenko is doing really well. Good service, strong topspin. there for Belenko. She didn't have time to get in position to chop. She was trying to roll it back. That's the risk but Belenko in the way she's playing defense sometimes has to face when she's switching the racket and she's playing defense with the black rubber, the normal rubber, she has really not that perfect feeling. I mean, altogether, she scored much more with her service and the attack than with defense. A little bit fortunate there. Re, the backhand topspin caught the top of the net, gives her a two point lead and her two serves to come. When you look at the first two games, Richard, very close. Very close. I mean, 11, 9, 12, 10, and two points in it. Game point in the second. Could have been easily 2-0 for Bilenko. Oof. 
good rally there and nice control from both sides and at the end again the crucial moment was when Bilenko started to attack there a little bit of luck good comeback and so heavy the backspin now interesting to see in the first game because once Bilenko fi will find the rhythm I think it will get more and more difficult for Rio maybe to also get through good use of the angles the first one out wide to the forehand there we see it. then into the backhand wide and a bit faster though she's changing slightly the timing there a bit slower to forehand, a little bit faster to backhand. You see how she changed also the angle of the racket. Gets it more difficult for Bilenko. So once again, a very tight game for the third time. Oh, Bilenko just going for a little bit of side spin on the push as, as variance. And this time Bilenko managed to play defense with the black rubber. But was maybe a bit surprised there and then pushed it out. close this time 11-9 so could have been easily been 3-0 for Bilenko but on opposite side it's 3-0 for Rimi Gyeong and this means the 2-0 lead for the People's Republic of Korea.